All right, so we're here for another guitar tone of the week, and this week I'm doing things a little bit different and using a plugin that's not exactly geared towards high gain metal. Uh, this is Archetype Tim Henson from Neural DSP, so obviously sticking with Neural DSP since I own a bunch of these plugins already. This is not sponsored. I did pay for this myself. This isn't even the trial. I actually bought this uh, plugin because it's, it's pretty great, honestly. I am using my GOC Guitars Illumina Plus again. This is the six string version with a bare knuckle juggernaut in the bridge and a bare knuckle cold sweat in the neck. So I didn't write a demo song for this one because I'm going to make this one fast and furious so that you can get straight to the tones. So what we've got up here first is Archetype Tim Henson and just Archetype Tim Henson. And I say just because in a moment I'm going to show you what it sounds like with a third party IR plugin as well. So as is, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> got going on right now if we go over to the first pedal section I have the boost and compressor turned off but I do have the overdrive turned on so this overdrive obviously has pretty classic settings that's why I stuck with it I have the drive turned all the way down tone all the way up because this was a really muddy sounding amp at first and then I have the level turned all the way up as well if we go to the amp section I am on the third amp here gain turned up to about three quarters of the way just about I didn't turn it up more because it really just starts to be too much almost sounding like a fuzz pedal if you go uh, further past that I've cranked the bass down middle up a little bit you guys know that I love to have a really mid focused tone we have the treble up pretty far and presence up pretty far as well I noticed though past these points they don't really do much on this amp the master has been turned down a little bit and I've cranked up the output by three honestly that's just to volume match the other tone that I made that you guys will get to hear in a little bit if we go to the cab section this plugin starts out with two different mics completely and I get it for the type of tones that Tim Henson might be going for or the other people using this plugin might be going for Again, my goal was a heavy rhythm tone. And so we threw the SM57 on there and the Condenser 184 really brightened up the tone for me quite a bit and gave me something that I liked a lot more than the other microphones that were on it. If we go over to the multi-voicer, I'm not touching that at all. And we go to the EQ, I did do a little bit of work here. Left a 16 alone, eight is boosted considerably. So we added 3.5 dB there. And I actually added some 4K here, and I don't usually add there, I usually subtract, but it did sound better to me. And I added at both 1K and 2K, and then I did add a little bit of 250 as well. I was just messing around, seeing what sounded best, and cranked that up, and it sounded good. Uh, I brought down the 65 to kind of act as a low-pass filter, or a high-pass filter, I should say. And it doesn't do a ton, but it does help. Lastly, I do have everything turned off over here in the uh, effects section. I don't have any reverb, delay, or chorus. So that's the basic tone, right? <laughs> Now let's go ahead and listen to Archetype Tim Henson with a third party plugin. So for this new tone, everything stayed the same on the Archetype Tim Henson plugin. What changed is I turned off the IR block and then I inserted an instance of Esprit's from Make Believe Studios. This plugin encompasses all of the impulse responses that I've used for years in plugin form instead of me having to use some other IR loader or anything else like that. I'm able to just use them in a very easy to use plugin. Uh, you'll see here it's just got a slider and a couple of EQ preferences on there, but this is what it sounds like. So as you're hearing, there's quite a few differences between those two tones. This tone with the Esprit Impulse Response is brighter. It almost sounds like a single coil tone now, which is pretty cool. And I know that's an effect of having the Archetype Tim Henson plugin running through uh, this IR plugin here because it didn't sound like that through any of the different IR capabilities within the plugin itself with the current setting. So remember, all I did here was change the IRs that are being used. I left the rest of the plugin alone completely. I didn't change any of the tone settings or anything like that. So it's pretty cool to get that different of a sound just 
just by changing the IRs. I mean, I have just folders and folders full of impulse responses that I need to go through now and test them with the different neural DSP plugins. So that way I can see the different tonal capabilities that I'm able to get. But yeah, this one was pretty easy. Let me know if you all like this format a little bit better. I didn't do a demo song for this one because honestly, I didn't have time to write it this week. But if you all have a suggestion of a different plugin that I should try out in the coming weeks, just let me know in the comments here. I'm very open to testing out different ones. I might dive into some of the different brands soon as well. So yeah, let me know. Hope you all like this. Peace.